Hi there. I have not posted a new video for a month already. I was taking a little break, but before I went on the break, the last video that I did was on Unity ads. And I also recorded the second part as well, but I'm gonna actually re-record it from scratch and let's get started. So in this video, I'm gonna actually show some strategies that you can use to monetize your game with ads. The three things that I'm gonna do is show how to create a rewarded ad that you can use to purchase one of the skin. So right here, I have a shop. We'll add another item that you will be able to purchase by watching the rewarded ad. And then we'll also do the simple thing, uh, like show a banner ad on all the levels and also display an interstitial ad. And for that one, I'm gonna show how you can actually create a counter to make sure that you don't show the interstitial ad every time there's a game over so you wouldn't annoy your players. So first one, I will do the rewarded video ad. So I'm gonna to go to the shop list and these are the current list of skins that I have. I'm gonna duplicate the green one. So I'll create another one, let's call it purple. And in here, I'm gonna select sort of a purple color, something like that, that looks fine. And let's actually also add a appropriate ID. So if you're interested in how the shop is working, I do have a separate video on that. And the whole game that you will see here is actually part of a series. So there's a link to the whole playlist of all the video parts for this game. So right here I have a price and I'm not actually gonna redo a lot of things here, but I do want to change the visual look of it so you can actually see that this is something different than purchasing a coin. So for the icon, which is currently, that looks like a coin, I'm gonna switch it up to, let's use this kind of a rectangle instead and switch the color to red. So that's gonna be a rewarded video ad for us. And then we can say for the text, instead of displaying the amount, we can just say add. So that's just a quick visual. Now for the setup, this is where we want to change it. And I have a script machine that is attached here. It's a item graph and it's used for all of these items as well. If I would actually be doing it for my game, I would modify this graph so that I'll be able to change the variables here and switch what type of purchasing system to use, either use the coins or use rewarded videos. But since I'm trying to make this video as short as possible, I'm not gonna do that. So what I'm gonna do is convert this to an embedded and that will duplicate that graph and will copy the instance just for this item right here, the purple. So that's just how it works with script machines. So let's go to added graph and in here there are some uh, things that we're doing here. So there's the config, which is where we modify the text and the color. So this is gonna change the color to purple instead of the blue square that we see. And this is gonna modify the text. I don't want to modify the text because the text for this one is gonna say add. So we're not gonna do uh, anything here. And this is a check if we already purchased it or not. Uh, we're gonna leave at that. And this what controls if we need to turn on the text or turn it off. So that is the configuration. Also, if you want to see more information, I already said that all of this structure and everything's going on here. I did cover this in the shop system video. So if you're interested, you can check that video part. Now, right here, I have the buy skin option. And what I'm doing here is check and make sure that I have enough coins. But what we wanna do instead is check if we have initialized Unity ads. Now, the initializing part, I covered it in the previous video. So if you haven't watched that video or you forgot how to do it, you can check back in there. It's pretty simple, but that's where you can find the information. So we can look for Unity ads is initialized and there is the Unity ads graph. Um, and it's a Boolean, so you can connect it for the condition that we're checking here. And now if that is true, if the ad is initializing, now we can enter the purchasing process. So in here, I subtract coins based on the price, but we're trying to launch a rewarded video ad. So let's remove that and do Unity ad. And I'll enable show on load. You can preload the video ad on start 
so it'd be ready and whenever the purchase is made you can trigger the show now we can paste the unit ids here which you can get from the unity dashboard and now whenever you click on this item in the shop it will attempt loading this rewarded ad and on the right side of this unit we can capture different responses if we have successfully watched the rewarded video ad then this unit is going to trigger on ad show completed you have all the other events that you can listen for if you want to make it a little bit more complicated and try to air handle why the ad didn't show but the simplest implementation of using a third worded ad is just listen for the complete status with that we're done with adding the rewarded video ad so let's test it out save it click play so right here i already have the red skin which is the default skin and also i have the green purchased but i have the purple here so if i click on the purple it's gonna give me the rewarded video ad now if i close it we have the purple skin so if i restart the game again which is going to go to the shop system we should see that the purple skin is actually purchased and right here we can see that it is purchased and we can just play it with purple now that is how to implement a rewarded video ad to purchase skin or any items that you want to sell in your shop now uh, let's go and see how to display interstitial ads or if you want to display a banner ad so for that i'm gonna go to my level one and how my levels are set up i have this level base prefab which is used in all of my levels. So I can do all of my implementations for the ads that I want to display in the levels inside the level base. So I'm going to go into this prefab. Now, based on how your levels are set up, if it's actually possible for the game to be launched directly into the level instead of a main screen, you need to make sure that you configure Unity ads before you start trying to load the ads. Now, in my game, the first thing that launches is the coin shop system, which has the initialization of the Unity ads. So it's like my main UI here. So I don't have to do any initializations here. Now, in this level base, I'm going to add a component and it's going to be a script machine. I'm going to use an embedded so the video would be shorter. Let's go to added graph. And now we can start implementing the ads that we want to display in the level. The first thing that I want to do is display a banner ad. So let's do that here. Unity banner ad. That's one of the units that I have here. And I can just pass in the IDs. I want to run it on start, but I'm also going to load interstitial ads on start as well. So let's use a sequence. And the first thing I'm going to do is load the banner ad. That's pretty much it with the banner ad. And now let's do the logic for the interstitial ad. So for the interstitial ad, I want to create a counter so that I'll count how much times the game is played before I start displaying the ads because I don't want to annoy the player by displaying the ad each time you complete a level or you lose a level. Let's say that I want to display the ad every third time when the player plays the level. So we will do a check here for some condition. And this is where we need to add the counter and all of that. So let's create a variable. So get a variable and I will use the application variable. And this is gonna be try count. You can initialize the game variable in your app, but I think it's better to use a fallback instead. That way, if you accidentally forget to initialize that variable or the variable gets deleted somehow, your code is gonna recreate itself. So in here, we're gonna create integer literal and we're gonna start with try count of zero. Now we're gonna compare it and see if it's greater than two so that it's actually going to display every third time but you can increase this number if you want to give player more tries so if that is true the first thing that we want to do is actually reset the try count so let's set application variable and we can do try count and we'll set it back to our initial value which was zero and that's going to reset our count. If it's false, we want to increment our value. So we're going to use a set variable again. 
try count and then we'll get our current value and add a scalar here one and pass that as the new value so that's how our counter is going to work and now we need to implement the add first thing i need to pause the game so how my game works i just can set the time scale to zero and that will pause my game if you need something more to do for your game you'll have to do it before you display the ad otherwise the game is going to be running in the background setting time scale to zero will pause my game and now i can use the unity ad to load my interstitial ad let's pass the ids so now if you play three times any level you will get an interstitial ad and we need to make sure also when we exit out of the interstitial ad we unpause the game so for that let's duplicate this set time and we'll set the time back to one now for unpausing you want to capture all of the events errors or a successful watched or a skip so i'm going to connect all of them right here You don't have to capture the other three events because on add load is going to be used for the show on load and the add on show start is just to tell you that the ad is displaying or on add show click if someone click the ad so this is the implementation for in this tutorial ad so let's click play and test it out so right here i start this level and you can see that i got an error and that is because i actually loaded the game inside the level which is not how my game's supposed to be running so that's why i mentioned if you're going to be allowing the game to be launched from a level you need to make sure that the initialization of unity ads is also inside the level as well but how i made my game is to start from a coin shop system or my main menu so if i start it from here now I can go and select my player and I don't get any errors now. You can see that the banner ad is displaying. That was the three tries and now I get the interstitial ad. So I can close it and complete a level and I can actually complete another level. So that's two. And then if I fail this one, I should get an interstitial ad. So there is the interstitial ad. So you probably noticed that I had four tries and it's basically how the math works. When you watched an ad, that try doesn't actually count because I reset the count at that point. So you still get three tries after that. If you want that try to be counted as well, you can set this value instead of to zero, set it to one, and you'll count that first try after watching the ad as a one try as well. But I hope this gives you a, a good example of how the ads are commonly used in the games. And you can expand on that and make it work better for the type of game you're making. Again, thanks for watching. Be sure to subscribe to the channel and I'll see you in the next one.